one thing that I've noticed is you guys have a lot of basic scale rings. So this is something that I want to see if we're going to see maybe future elite style scale rings. I mean, I, I know that you have the elimination table over there. What would it? I mean, what would it take to get you guys to do an elite elite scale ring? You know, that is a elimination chamber, a steel cage match, that kind of thing. Can we see that in the future? Because I know that's something the collectors want. If you have to build on different pieces to get to it, that's fine. Just give us an, ex an, an elite scale ring that will work with the figures. Well, I mean, we do have an elite scale ring, right. <laughs> which everybody loves. Apparently, I love it too. It's you know, twenty two inches square or something yeah. like that. Use ring, really nice detail, things like that. We'd love to start building some accessories onto that. I think it's one of the things we like to do as we go forward. Um, you get into, you know, um, some pretty high price points when you start doing that stuff. Those are the kind of things that are, I think that we can do that maybe we can um, possibly do on Maddie at some point in the future. Um, or with or with ringside collectibles. <laughs> um, yeah, no, those are the kind of things that are perfectly suited for you know for those the demographics of you know who buys from your you know your your sites and also Maddie Collector. So I think you will see that. It's hard for us to do those kinds of things at retail. You know, you're talking about sets now. If you get a ring like that, you can be you know in excess of one hundred dollars. Yes, $920. You know? Yeah, and and that's great. You know, but you want to sell more than a hundred of them too. Yeah, you know, so so the and honest the truth. I mean, there are some business things we have to kind of consider when we do that but we love that ring and, and and we want to build on it. we invested a lot of time and energy to make that a really cool ring and we want to keep bringing it back in different iterations you know um, as the years go on and build onto it and do accessories I'd love to do a, an elite elimination chamber that would be totally awesome to do that I mean uh, the one that we're doing for the basic ring looks so great you know, which good. you guys will see yeah, again yeah, as you look yeah, at it okay, um, it's we are really really happy with it and you imagine doing that at you know at, at elite yeah. scale size it would be just awesome you know, yeah, you know I, like, I like the way it's I was like the way it was presented too uh, your wife may kick you out of the house <laughs> because you're gonna have to have it on your dining room table <laughs> but <laughs> That's why I have the man cave downstairs. You'll, you'll deal with that, I'm <laughs> sure, right? Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> All right, let me let me get to another question from the forums board. Will we get the Andre the Giant figure that was supposed to come with the Legends ring ever? Yes, you will. Okay. So that'll be a later <laughs> in the series. Yeah, I can't it's, I can't say exactly where he's going to come, but yeah, unfortunately, that didn't work out in the one we wanted to do him in, but he's committed to. We're going to do him. He think he'll he'll sell phenomenally well. So, yes, he's he's you're going to see Andre in 2011. Would that be like an exclusive or maybe a chase figure? Uh, it'll pro probably be an exclusive somewhere. That's what we were thinking about doing as an exclusive. I think it's the best way to do Andre. You know? With the number of legends per wave dropped from six to four, will we get more waves released per year then? Uh, probably not. Okay. I mean, I think the whole reason to do that is to keep it more strategic, you know, and, and keep and keep giving you. A, the highest quality lever legends we can and not to over proliferate them yeah. and uh, so we we really feel as though that the way to do that is is to back off and give you a better you know better legends to choose from and 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 stretch out the collecting experience as it were a little bit more rather than ask you guys to you know to collect you know 30 to you know the 36 of those every year while you're also still trying to collect the lead and basic figures and all the stuff on ringside and you know all those other things too i think they're really finding out what the level you know of, of the level of sales is in collector now and i think we're probably got a really good handle now on how much stuff we we can put out in a year and 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 i think everybody is going to be happy in the long run with that thing we might get a little bit of you know whining in the beginning because oh they're not giving us as much but I think I think that overall I think it'll be a better experience for the collector I really do okay fair enough now one of the other major complaints that we've had and, and you know they want to see if it could get fixed is are there any plans uh, on possibly fixing the elite ankle joint because you know it's a little loose and they would like to have it a little bit more secure really yeah. this is the first I'm hearing of that yeah, is a, it there's been a few yeah there's been a few <laughs> uh, yeah matter of fact when I go back on Monday I'll look into it but there's no reason why those kinds of things that you know that, that we get feedback and we like by the way we love to hear that feedback right. I mean because those are the things that you know I have certain criteria when I when I go to look at something it, it better not fall over it better pose and be able to support its own weight and the skin color on the arms had better be exactly the same skin color as the torso. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I have like these three key points that I always look at when I look at them and my guys know it and those are not things that we will do running changes on. Those are things that we will stop production. If I have a torso that's two shades off from the arms, I will. Ne I have examples of old products sitting on my, on my desk saying never let this happen. 
And uh, those are the kinds of things that we're talking about. So we have loose ankle joints, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. If I'm hearing it, I'm going to go back Monday and ask them what you know, what's going on with that. And because there's no really no excuse for that, really. Those are the kinds of things that are just production parameters that or maybe may, could be slipping a little bit or somebody's trying to you know run a little bit too quickly or maybe the you know the pin joint might be you know out of spec or something like that so those are the kind of things that are very very easy to fix and we'd love to hear those kind of comments back you know so if there's anybody out there that sees two different colors on the arms and the torso they need to go on the forums board and post it to give to you oh, I would compl yeah I definitely complain about that kind of stuff that just uh, that just reinforces my direction with my guys you know because they hate to hear that kind of stuff back and they, if they see it on the forums they no, I'll be coming after them for it because that's the last place I want it to happen. At you know? least we got somebody that's looking out for the product and for the fans. Absolutely. That's that's basic stuff that, that, that should never, ever, ever happen. And that's just, you know, uh, a situation in some lines where people just, just they don't care anymore. I, I don't know what else, how else to say it because, you know, it's pretty obvious when, you know, your arms are a different color than your, unless you're power tan or you got a golf tan or something, which none of our guys are supposed to. Unless it's a farmer's tan. Exactly. I don't think we have any of those guys in WWE anymore. Uh, no, no, they're pretty much all, you know. Pretty, since Hillbilly Jim. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One, one of the other questions about, you know, fixing ongoing problems is um, fixing ongoing knee pad problem. I mean, knee pads are too hard. They're, they're not as immobile as they should be. Yeah, I, we're working on materials for that. I think we, we had a, a situation where we were really kind of locked into a certain vinyl for those knee pads. And there's a couple of issues we have to concern ourselves with, with vi working with PVC, is that it does... It will leach color back, and you might have seen on some of your older stuff where It'll you know softer PVC, like and actually the color will leach, leach into the other thing. So um, our, our our CPI people or our quality people have designated that we have to use a certain hardness in in our in our knee joint in our knee pads. So they're not always. We want to make sure that we continue to do them. They're not as easily removable as they could be. But we're working on some new materials now that hopefully will be much more stretchy and be able to, you know, we'll actually be able to take them off. You know, because they're even difficult to get off sometimes. I know. I know they are. Instead of, instead of like a plastic, what about more like a of a, of a cloth kind of elbow pad, knee pad that will actually have like a velcro on the back that you can take off? Yeah, I would love to do more cloth, but uh, one of the things Price we're point. finding in, uh, you know, labor is really. Our single biggest, you know, you would think plastic would be your single biggest issue in Hong Kong these days. It's not really, it's labor. And even just making t-shirts and things like that now have become a, really a challenge for us um, to keep that, keep those things in the line because it, it, it labor is becoming a bigger issue than materials are now. So, so um, uh, I'd love to do a, I'd love to do a fabric knee pad, but eh, probably not. Not not in basic anyway. Maybe it's something we're thinking about. Maybe as we go up, you know, uh, for a lead or maybe some of the moments. defining moments or something to try to do something that's a little bit more, uh, you know, a uh, little more accurate. I guess is the, the best term to do it. But we're also working on materials for that to, that can be stretchy. So you might see that change in you know maybe in you know, the next six months or so. Got it.